Hi everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. I hope you all are doing really well. I am going to be doing something very spur of the moment, very casual today. I have two projects I've really been wanting to do. I've kept them out there completely organized and ready to go at any point in time and today is the day. Number one, I really want to make some bubble bath and I got these really adorable little honey jars and originally I was gonna do this project in April for Will's birthday and things got away from me and there wasn't time so now they're going to be Christmas bears instead of Winnie the Pooh bears. I've also had a shower steamer kit that I wanted to make and now that everything has gotten a little chillier a little colder here in Texas I feel like it's the perfect time to do so throw it in the shower all that menthol and stuff helps clear up your airways. So I've got those two kits I know I'm gonna do for sure, but I'm also gonna rummage around in that room and see if I can find anything else. So feel free to tag along while I go get all that stuff in there. Now, obviously I have quite a few things in here you guys can't see yet because of the 12 days of soap miss and all, but I will show you what I have in my miscellaneous raws box. Raw meaning raw materials. I have a lot of things in there but they don't really have a project to go with so I don't know maybe we make up our own project today too okay so here is my tub and shower steamer kit everything I need in there and then next door we have the honey bear craft so that is all of this goodness in here but what do we have in the incomplete raw section let's rummage well I have a gumball machine in here because I thought it would be fun to like put little gumball containers in there with different creative prompts and just make a soap based on whatever I get out of here. Looks like I have some cool new merch from The Good Glitter that hasn't been launched yet, so you guys can't see any of that. Ooh, what's this? Something from Brambleberry, the Autumn Cabin Fragrance Collection. Mmm, might take a sniff of that. How about in here? Ooh, okay. So we have this blended waxes, soy wax from Candle Science, which that might be fun. Maybe we can make some wax melts today too. And finally, some suds and glow and some whipped soap. Ooh, we could do that as well. First, I wanna sniff these though, because maybe there's some things in here we want to use. Cool. Look at the branding. Brambleberry always does such a good job. Cardamom and cedar. Ooh. Mmm. Very spicy. Black spruce and anise. Mmm. Ooh, I really like that. That smells like a Christmas tree farm. Apple bourbon. Mmm. Ooh. Oh. That's crazy. That's such a good blend of like bourbon, like the alcohol and apple. It's like nearly 50-50. That's so rare in a fragrance. Sugar and spice. Now that's more up my alley. Let's see about this one. Oh, bull. Makes my mouth water. Oh, discolors to light yellow in cold process. Wow, I'm surprised that this doesn't discolor to like black because it smells so much like vanilla. Anyway, check out the Autumn Cabin Collection by Brambleberry. I don't think I'm gonna be using any of these in the crafts today because they're not really the most on theme, but I am gonna put them away with all of my extra fragrance oils in my pantry so I can grab them if I need them in the future. Right, shower steamers and bubble bath. Which do we make first? There's only one way to settle this squarely. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by his toe. If, if he hollers and can pay $50 every day, my mother had to pick the very best one. And you, you are not it, you dirty, dirty dish rag, you. Okay, shower steamers first. Before we can craft anything, I should probably put a hairnet on. Probably. Beautiful. Glad you can still see my croissant. Croissant. Let's see what we got. Oh yes, now I remember. Shelly and I printed this off so that I would have it handy. Mmm. Do we have the essential oil in here? Yes, we do. Sleepy time essential oil. For some reason, I thought I got the like refreshing menthol mix, but apparently not. Oh, that smells so good. Is that a Bath and Body Works duplication? Kind of smells like it. It reminds me of the old lavender vanilla 
like pillow spray at Bath and Body Works. Any of you old people remember that? Cool. Round gas silicone mold. I believe. Ah, oh, very good. Wow, and these are like the perfect size for shower steamers. I guess they probably knew that. And some raffia. Now, you guys tell me, because y'all might have a hot take on this that I don't know anything about. Is raffia kind of outdated? I feel like it is. Like I almost never see when I look at modern storefronts anything tied in raffia. Now I remember growing up and seeing it everywhere on every single teacher basket, every handmade craft, every little knick-knack. I do see like brown crinkle paper, but not raffia. Huh. Little cello bags to put the final products in. We probably won't need these though because I'm going to keep all of them. Oh, and well, 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 if they hadn't provided me with a little hairnet anyway. Oh well, I like mine better, so I'm gonna keep mine, but cool, plastic beaker. Basically everything's in here. All I'm gonna need is a scale and uh, a bowl and some gloves. Right, scale, bowl, gloves, protective eyewear, because if there is a possibility for personal eye injury, I will make it happen. Man, I am spicy today. <laughs> Okay, let's get started. Baking soda, citric acid, arrowroot powder. And they said to sift this, but I actually don't have a sifter. I broke my other one. So I'm just going to have to use my hands to get all the clumps out. This has got to be one of the single easiest like kit DIYs I've ever done. Right, add some sleepy time fragrance oil, mix this in, and then I'm going to spray with rubbing alcohol until everything stays together. Wow, after mixing in this fragrance oil, it's already adding quite a bit of structure to this mix. Okay, I think this is enough because it's mostly staying together. And now all that's left to do is pack them in. Ooh, these molds are really, really firm. I don't think they're bowing out at all whenever I'm packing this in. Wow, even after me just now packing it in, it's already starting to get pretty hard. I'm really gonna beef these up too, because I don't have any reason to leave any extra powder out. Also, just because I have it, I'm gonna take this metal ruler and make it level on top just by gently scraping across the top. Yes, now it's nice and flat and professional. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these into the other room and sit them next to the dehumidifier we have going because it has been really rainy in Texas over the last couple of days. And I would love for these to actually turn out right. So I'm gonna give them the best chance I can. Right, let's clean all this up. Now for some bubble bath. So I am gonna start by just making one recipe of my original concept, which is a honey scented bubble bath. So I have my three little containers here, aren't they cute? And then I also have this summer honey fragrance. This is from Crafter's Choice, obviously. And then I have their bubble bath clear base. And I've poured some off. I'm gonna heat it up in the microwave just like they told me to. Then I'm going to add in some color and our fragrance and we're going to let that sit and cool and then I'll kind of see how I feel about it. Maybe we'll wait for a little while, mold it up, pour it into our containers and see how thick it is. Because one of the things I know about fragrance oil and bubble bath is that it can become really runny. So let's heat it up and see what we get. Wow, 30 seconds and this actually got really hot. So I'm going to start by adding a little bit of this antique copper gel tone. This is from TKB Trading. And I do mean just a little because I don't actually know how potent that is. So that was just a few little drippy drops. Ooh, so shiny. And then I'm going to add in some soap colorant. This is neon yellow from Catalina, Essentials by Catalina. I don't know if I've ever used any of their colorants or supplies on camera. I tried them out this year just to see what I thought. And so I haven't actually had any projects to use them in yet. And that 
is a really, really pigmented color. It's really pigmented, but it doesn't really look like honey yet. So I added in a little more of that copper gel tone. And I think that's gonna get us more to where we wanna be. Yeah, that looks so good. Going to add in a little bit of sparkle sunshine. And because this is so viscous, it will probably suspend that sparkle sunshine. <gasps> It's beautiful. <laughs> this is great too, because whenever you make, you know, melt and pour or cold process, you always lose that extra shimmer. Not so with bath products like bubble bath. You will actually get to see that pretty color the whole time. All right, 12 milliliters of our fragrance. Three, six, nine, and 12. All right, and we will blend this in. Ooh, so the fragrance made it slightly less translucent. It's still very sparkly. And I don't know if it will clear up as it sits. That will be something we have to watch and see. It is a really good consistency though. I don't know if it's going to loosen up a little as it sits, but as of right now, it's actually really nice. Okay, and now let's go ahead and fill up our bottles. Also, if you're wondering where my rings are from, they are Tristan Ikeka. I'm obsessed with his brand and his rings. And you guys know I'm not really a fashion girly, so it means a lot coming from me if I actually like somebody's stuff. Let's start right there and see what that gets us. Oh my gosh, this is one of the cutest things I've ever made. 10 seconds later. I am falling out of love. <laughs> with the color of these, but here's what I will say. Honey comes in a variety of shades. And I have some honey in my cabinet right now that's from Scotland that is almost exactly this color. So maybe it's not that clear amber color most of us are used to thinking of, but I promise you there is honey this color, <laughs> okay? It also smells really good. And the just the general appeal of this is incredible. I'm gonna set them off to the side and then I'm gonna go rummage around and see what else I can find as far as fragrances go. Okay, I found more of the Catalina colors, including this soap green. And I found some Christmas tree fragrance, some gingerbread cookie fragrance, some s'mores fragrance, and coffee shop. So we have quite a few options. And I will whip these right up while you guys enjoy some Christmas tunes. These are everything I thought they would be and more. And honestly, the only thing they really need now is a label. So either I leave them as is because these are for personal use or I go and design a label real quick. And then I say real quick and then it takes me an hour and a half because I'm a perfectionist and I want the colors to be just right. Hmm, I can't imagine which one I'm going to pick to do. <laughs> I'm back and... I come bearing labels. Now, admittedly, I thought I had some label paper. I always keep a lot of weatherproof, glossy labels from online labels just around for projects like this, but I didn't have it for some reason. So I printed this on a piece of paper just so you could see what it could look like. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out and kind of like hold it up to the little bears. And since they've gotten to sit now for like three or four hours, some interesting things 
have occurred. Number one, these guys look almost entirely the same as when we poured them, as does our little red bear friend who is super shiny, super pretty. But the green bear has turned translucent. Isn't that cool? This looks like real bubble bath. Because I have to go ahead and purchase some more label paper anyway, I will print these labels out on glossy paper and take some pictures with them. And then I think I'm going to use them as stocking stuffers for some of my siblings and some of the children that are in my life. So whatever I'm getting them, this will just be a bonus prize. Okay, moment of truth. Ah, oh, y'all, look at that. <laughs> I'm obsessed. It only took me an hour in Canva. It's great. Now, let's go check on those shower steamers. We'll give those a test and we'll give one of these guys a test too. I think we should use him because he's so clear and pretty. We're coming for you, shower steamer. Here it is, right over here next to the deep humidifier. <gasps> They look so pretty. I can literally smell them all throughout the house and they're already pretty hard. I bet I could get one out. Moment of truth. Wow, oh, I love them. I think they could sit a little longer, but for testing purposes, they should be fine. Look at that. And after one day, look at how much water is in my humidifier. Time to test. Oh, now before I turn that on, I know a whole bunch of you are gonna ask, Katie, why do you have Bath and Body Works in your guest house if you make soap? The reason is twofold. Number one, I like Bath and Body Works, okay? I don't discriminate against any type of Bath and Body product. If it smells good and makes you feel amazing and lathers well and cleans your body and blah, 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 go ahead and use it. I've been banging that drum for forever here on Royalty Soaps. And number two, this is my guest house. So when guests come over, I like to tailor their bath and body needs to their preferences. And my grandmother loves bath and body work. So I bought those especially for her. I am a soap enthusiast, first and foremost. I love all of it. <laughs> all right, moment of truth. Oh wait, are you supposed to put it that close? Maybe you're supposed to put it like up over here. So it's just barely getting, getting touched. Look at it, it's fizzing away. Wow, it smells incredible. Seems like it would last a decently long time too, especially if it was hardened all the way through. Cool. Well, that definitely worked. Let's try the bubble bath, shall we? Glug, glug, glug. Ooh, green, Grinch green. Let's kind of mix it up in here. I don't have any jets in my tub, so I'm gonna do what anyone drawing a bubble bath would do. Um, that smells delicious. Delicious. Wow, take a gander at that. Pretty fluffy. I didn't even fill the tub completely. And these are very like stable bubbles. Almost nothing is popping. And it's been sitting here for probably three minutes or so-ish, I would say, from the beginning. Yeah, looks good. Given the fact that it is like, oh sh golly, uh, nine o'clock at night, I don't think I have time for any more today. However, the bubble bath honey bears were a huge success. I'm so happy that that worked out. The shower steamers, also a huge success. The labels, a huge success, minus the fact I didn't have any label paper. I'm really thrilled with today's little adventure and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, if you wanna make some stuff like what I did here, well, all you have to do is follow the recipes at Wholesale Supplies Plus. I believe the shower steamer was a kit, but the bubble bath things I bought separately and there really is just like, buy the jars, buy the bubble bath and scent it with whatever you want, color it however you want. It's so easy. It's just dumb how easy it is. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, if you want to see more like it where I just hang out and look through uh, all of my stuff and make cool recipes with you, y'all just let me know because this was like the most fun I have had sporadically in a very long time. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today. Also, there's still Christmas stuff available in my soap shop if you want any. If this video goes up when it's supposed to, there should still be time 
time to get things internationally and also within the United States in time for Christmas, but you guys know how that goes. So the sooner you get it, the better as far as giftability is concerned. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today. Go out there, experiment, try something new. Maybe you want to try a new craft. I have one that I just bought some very expensive stuff for. I'm definitely making a soap mist video out of it. That was the whole plan. I may or may not have just spent like over $400 so that I could make 12 cookies. But I digress. You'll have to watch that video come soap mist time because we're doing the 12 days of soap mist again, baby. Woo! And I will see you all in the next video. So until then, bye for now.